After the running of race four and a false start, I'm now catching up with Kyle Cameron. Firstly, Kyle, congratulations. Yeah, thanks, Paul. Uh, you got the truckies with Prince Ticker, and anyone wondering, I may not have hit record for our first interview, so this is a complete take two. Uh, the gentleman's name, I still can't actually remember the gentleman you trained the horse for. Uh, it's Jared McRae, and he just trains a small team out of Lobin, which is uh, five minutes from Rangura, and he just brings them around to the old man's track for fast work, and uh, yeah, he does a good job. He does a good job. The horse did a great job. Um, got up the inside. I said to you, I asked you there, it's getting a bit windy. Yeah, strong wind down the back straight, so it probably tied a few out behind us, which, um, yeah, we took the shortest way around. What's the history of this horse? Like, has he um, done a lot? Uh, yeah, he's had a, about 150 starts. He's a brilliant stand starter, so there'll be no one quicker in New Zealand off the stand than him. Um, and he's just can get off the gate too. Is it, would this be his biggest win? Yeah, definitely that'd be his biggest win for sure for me, Jared, and the horse. Yeah. What's it mean for you guys? You're small, you're saying there before you you break pre-train um, and race your own horses. What does it mean winning on, you know, on the second biggest day, I'll say, in um, you know, uh, South um, New Zealand, Southern New Zealand harness racing? Oh, it's brilliant. You know, like um, everyone wants to be here Cup Day and today and, and to Told get the big stage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Picked his timing. Yeah, no, it's just great to um, get a win on the big day when, uh, you know, the money's up. Yeah, Stevie, we were giving him a hard time before, said he will uh, photo bomb us. He didn't photo bomb us, he just took the whole photo um, <laughs> completely. It, it is a good day, so many people get there. Today's possibly a little bit more, I suppose, relaxed. But it means as much to the horsemen to be here today, doesn't it? Oh, definitely. You've still got the Dominion on the card and the free-for-all, and, and, you know, it's a, a good crowd and, and big money. So, yeah, definitely. Yeah, we're actually giving Stevie Dolan a hard time, too. There's a couple of New Zealand size stakes races. He's got a you know, real good chance in it. Oh, definitely. You know, it's a, it's a great great day's racing. Like, for the for the purest of racing, it's probably just as just as good as Cup Day, isn't it, really? Now, I asked you just here before if you were related to any of the Camerons, and you uh, the only one I knew was Bobby, but you, you, you're not. Are you related at all, like, even distantly? No, not that I know of, no. Yeah. No, it's just my father, Ian, that trains and drives as well. Yep, and um, it's just been in your blood all your life? Yeah, my grandfather trained and drove, and I had a few uncles that do as well, so um, I'm the only one of my generation that is, but uh, yeah, I've got two sisters, so they're not so interested. Do you enjoy it? Oh, I love it, yeah, otherwise I'd probably do something that pays better, wouldn't I? <laughs> well, oh, well it's, it's one of those things, sometimes we get left into a position and, you, and we do it. It's, it's, I think that answer you just said then was great, though. I mean, you meant that because you do love it. Yeah, oh, definitely, definitely. Every day is different, isn't it? and um, you know, yeah. I guess the day I stop enjoying it, or the day I'll do something different. Yeah, absolutely. You train a small team of racehorses. You got any going around of any noted at the minute? Uh, I had one yesterday that had a gallop, but um, no, just um, a few coming up, getting ready for the coast circuit. To be honest, at Christmas, that's that's um, probably what I'm aiming for. That's up north, I believe. Uh, no, west coast. So yeah. Oh, are you going? You going to the Central Otago's? No, I've never been. I always go to Westport, Reefton, Boxing Day, through to New Year's. Um, you should probably come back. Actually, you. You'll really love it. I can't because <laughs> I am actually going to the Central Otago's. Oh, yeah. so a little bit. I would uh, the divorce would happen pretty quickly. I reckon if I was away Christmas up to Christmas Eve and then uh, take off January one. Yeah, yeah, fair, fair call. You'll have to alternate though because oh. uh, you're missing out. Yeah, I have been told. I think there's some wild cricket matches and things like that happening, isn't there? Oh yeah, you know, there's plenty, plenty of good times had, and um, yeah, you'd have to try their white bait. It's pretty good. It's a pretty cool game here. I, I think yeah, a lot of people. It is work and it's tiresome and all the rest. But you know, we said there, you're going to the gallery every man and his dog from here is going to the gallops tomorrow. There'll be more standard breads there, standard bread participants there than there will be thoroughbred participants, I reckon. Yeah, definitely. You get to the end of the week and you need a wee breather, don't you? So, um, no, it's, it's a bloody good day out. And um, my brother-in-law trains gallopers and my wife works for him, so she'll be there working and I'll, I'll watch over the fence. Oh, that's a bad result, isn't it? Because that means she's got to drive home as well. Yeah, yeah, she's got to drive home too. <laughs> well done, mate. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining me. Sorry about the, uh, the take two. And... Sorry about Stevie doing the old photo bomb, but that's okay. We won't worry too much about that at all. But um, congratulations and thanks for giving me a bit of time. Yeti, no, thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye.